We've been learning about astronomy. Looking at stars. We had a look at Saturn. We looked at some bright stars and we're going to go back and look at the moon. We were out at the Weimar Tourist Park, just north of Albury, and we got around 20 kids from the Albury Wodonga Community College and teamed them up with three presenters. There was a series of lectures, so three lectures for the kids, and then they actually went outside and got to look through telescopes and look at the night sky. I'm going to give you the um, European perspective on astronomy. Here's the Southern Cross laying on its side. Where's Uranus? <laughs> and usually the next joke is, um, I can't see Uranus but I can see Mars. <laughs> the old story of Targai is that he's a great fierce warrior. He's also a great fisherman. I'm trying to explain to the kids a bit about how Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people understood the night sky, how they used it for things like navigation or calendars, food economics, social structure, all those sort of elements um, that are important for the daily lives of indigenous people. What we're going to do is talk to you about how lunar phases work. So what I want you to do is go over here between the Earth and the Sun. Come on. I was the Earth that spun around very fast and nearly fell over. I was the moon and I got killed because I was fat and lazy. Give these guys a hand. From a simplest point of view, I take photos of the sky at night. We see this with our own eyes, but this is what a camera can see. I like the um, time pictures. They were pretty cool. How it shows you the Milky Way and like all the, the lights streaming in the sky. My favourite bit was all the photos. We went out to the telescope and we looked at Saturn and it looked just like a sticker. It looked really fake, but it was pretty cool to see. The lecture series was the first stage of the Charcoal Night project. The second stage will be then reinterpreting those stories through a charcoal animation. So you might just start off by drawing some stick figures for fire. Sort of really started from uh, daylight, with them being outside and on the jumping pillow and the trees, and then transforming that into the night sky. I drew a fish that got bigger when it got close to the moon and it ate the moon in the stages that the moon goes in. I had a little man going to the toilet. He got in on, into the toilet and then somehow he disappeared into the toilet into the sky. He was hunting a fish. I drew a toilet and a fish swimming away from the arrow. I did a star with like dust coming out of it and the AW. So say, I drew the moon and target. So you all artists now? Yeah, seems like it. We were just using it to get out of mass and we had <laughs> I think what was so great about this project is the moment we explained it to everyone, people just got it and they were so excited about it. And I think it's sustaining that passion and excitement that really makes a project have a life of its own. Isn't Pluto meant to be a star now or something? No, no, it's a dwarf planet. What's your favourite planet? I Is there any lead on stars? It's plasma. It's like just hot, dense plasma. You know how they said that they're just flaming balls of gas? Mm -hmm. How are they on fire if space is just like a vacuum? It's not fire like this. It's it's burning. It's the nuclear fusion. It gives off heat. It gives off fire. So it's not like fire like we think of. There's no air in space. Mm -hmm.